There is four major different types of radiations. These are alpha, beta, neutrons and electromagnetic waves like gamma ray and x-ray. Let me explain alpha radiation first. Alpha radiation can have many different names. These are alpha particle, alpha ray and of course alpha radiation. Alpha decay is when an element sends out an alpha particle. Alpha decay occurs when an atom's nucleus becomes unstable. Unstable meaning that there are way more electrons or way less electrons than it should be. Alpha decay can only happen to elements which has a higher atomic number than 28. It is the most common heavy particle radiation. But when this alpha decay happens an alpha particle gets sent out. An alpha particle consists of two protons, two neutrons and no electrons. Meaning it is a helium nucleus. Now this alpha particle cannot penetrate most materials. But when it does become dangerous is when you inhale or swallow it. This is because this alpha particle is positive charged so it is trying to attract electrons. So now this alpha particle is stealing your electrons which are inside your internal organs. This causes a chain reaction of atoms trying to steal each other's electrons. This can cause cancer. An alpha particle emitted from alpha decay has the velocity of 4% the speed of light. Which is a speed of 12,000 km per second. Beta radiation. Like alpha radiation beta radiation can have many different names. These are beta particle, beta ray or beta radiation. Also like alpha radiation beta decay is when an element sends out a beta particle. Beta decay occurs when an atom has either too many protons or too many neutrons in its nucleus. Beta decay only happens to small radioactive elements. When beta decay happens a beta particle gets emitted. A beta particle is a fast electron or positron. A positron is the antiparticle of an electron. This transforms the nuclide to an isobar. Isobars are atoms of different chemical elements that have the same number of protons and neutrons. Beta particles are capable of penetrating the skin and causing radiation damage, such as skin burns. This can be avoided with wearing clothes. But beta particles are the most dangerous when you inhale or swallow them. This causes the same effect as alpha radiation. Meaning it can also cause cancer. Neutron radiation. Neutron radiation can happen in many different ways. The most common are nuclear fission, nuclear fusion or neutron emission. Neutron emission is when an atom sends out one or more neutrons from its nuclei. It happens when an atom has too many neutrons or too few protons in its nucleus. But neutron radiation can also be emitted from nuclear fission and nuclear fusion. This is because the neutrons are used to split other nucleus. This makes it a chain reaction. Free neutrons are unstable. When it is free it has a short half-life of 14 minutes and 47 seconds. Neutron radiation can penetrate almost every material in the world. This makes it also dangerous. Since neutrons can interact with tissues in the body and have the potential to cause damage. Electromagnetic radiation. Electromagnetic radiation consists of radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-rays, and gamma rays. Electromagnetic radiation can also be referred to as electromagnetic waves. It occurs when there is a periodic change of electric or magnetic field. Periodic change meaning that something repeats itself after a certain amount of time. Example can be change of seasons. So it happens when an electric or magnetic field changes. Depending on how they change and the power they change with, different wavelengths are created. These electromagnetic waves are emitted by electrically charged particles undergoing acceleration. Electromagnetic radiation can penetrate the human body and even aluminium foil. They become dangerous the smaller the wavelengths are. Meaning that radio and microwaves are not dangerous. But X-ray and gamma rays can be if you are exposed to a large amount of it. That is going to be the end of this video. Please like, subscribe, comment on what I should make a video about and goodbye.